It's grading return time. 600 cards. There's a lot to go through. Let's go. See what we get. I've seen all these grades, so nothing too exciting for me. But it'll be cool to show some stuff. I'm not sure if I'll go through all of it because there's just so much to go through. It's just like, it's just insane. But we'll, we'll tackle it one by one. I'll talk about the values, maybe what I paid, maybe what the resale is, why I grade certain things, the process. Maybe we can get some information out there that can help some people, but uh, let's, let's start it off. I'm not sure how to do this. Maybe we can do the first few like this. We might do the other way where we pull it forward on anything more expensive. Okay, so, sorry about the reflection, but hope you're all doing well today. <clears throat> These are all CGC cards. They were submitted very early November. So that's roughly, was that three, three or four months, three and a half months, maybe a little bit. They submitted through the bulk service with subgrades. So... You're looking at what's that, like $13 a card? CDC cards, a lot of the times they have this like white stuff. I don't know what that is. It comes off if you rub it off, but yeah. So we got a nine. There's a majority of this, it is bulk. Okay, so don't expect anything crazy. Also remember, Everything in this submission was purchased prior to November 2020. Maybe even a few months before that because I have to get it shipped to me and then I have to prepare it and ship it. But uh, let's 8.5s. That's a killer. Like every card is an 8.5. Oh, that's good. That's a nice one. So... Do not think if I have a card in here, oh my god, it's $50 and he has like so many of them. They were not purchased at those prices. They were purchased at much less. On almost all of these, the grading fee is much more than the card. But people like graded cards and I like offering them to people. So it's very it's very rare I grade WotC cards. So it's cool when I get some back. So there's like a little bit of a dirt mark up here. Caused it to get the seven on corners, maybe. Oh, what was that? Edge is 8.5, never mind. Never mind, that'll be a surface issue, I guess. Yeah, so the corners are pretty rough. I'm, I'm really going to do my best to show. So this is an eight. I think that's pretty standard for an eight. A little bit of wear here and there. But... An 8 is 4 grades lower than the highest grade, so obviously it can't be too perfect because that wouldn't make any sense if it was like near perfect. But the 8.5 grade is a grade that I've come to just understand that it's there. And that's just how it is. So a lot of Shining Muse are going to get a low surface grade just because they're Shining Muse. This one's, let's see if I can find the problem for you here. This one's relatively nice. Well, it looks like there's something down the bottom there. You see it there on the camera. Not sure, I think that might, I think there's a little bit of a gash on the front. Was it there? Maybe I'm, I mean, Shining Muse is always rough on the surface. That's just how it is. But. Misty's Tears, great one. I'll grade them every time I have them. McDonald's promos. I think they're really awesome. Not much to say there. I think I'll show this Pikachu. So what a, this is what a five will get you. 
card looks nice for a five. Oh, okay, here we go. We got a little hairline crease down the bottom there. Right there. And then this corner's lipped. So that'll get you. And we got, oh, this has lots of bad little creases. There we go. Another one on the side there. So, you know, basically what to expect. But if someone can't afford the 10, 9, 20, whatever, they have to get it. That's a nice swirl in that dark Charizard. I, I grade every old Charizard that I get because there's always buyers for them. And it's cool making people happy with that stuff. So let's make a new stack. I'm not used to this whole like making videos and stuff yet. So like, oh, please excuse if the quality isn't that great. 7.5, error. Well, it's an, it's an error electrode, but they don't put it as an error because there's no different one. So that's cool. And then Clefable. Just, I, think, I think I had a first edition jungle set and I just wanted to send off the non-holo rares. I already graded the holo rares when the CGC first came out, but these aren't that bad condition for like 7.5. We've got a little bit of edge wear on the side here. Other than that, that's pretty clean. I think every return I get back kind of solidifies my respect for CGC and how consistent they are. It's very rare you get card in a higher grade that appears worse than a card in a lower grade. This one's just terrible. Why would I... I mean, why would anyone send this? This is probably a card that I, like, I'll list for, like, the grading cost. And then if it sells, it sells. But, yeah. No. CTC standards are pretty good to me. I've bought a few CTC cards, and I'm not really one to buy graded cards, because I really like doing it myself. But I like, I like it, you know, you kind of know what to expect in every grade. Seven point five E. I'm just shaking my head at a lot of these. I promise the rest of this return isn't this bad. Excuse me. Okay. I felt that coming on. All right. What do we got here? 8.5 edges squirtle. Let's see what we can expect. So a little bit of edge. We're on the side there. What about this side? And some very few dots. That's pretty clean for a nine. I honestly think if this was a PSA 10, you wouldn't really, you'd look the other way sort of thing. You'd just be like, oh, I guess so. So, you know, that's pretty respectable. It's got a six on corners for this. Oh, that's actually, cards come out of the pack with these corners. It's very, very common. Well, not very common, but I can recognize these corners as pack corners. Oh, Jesus Christ. And we got Dark Electrode. So, you know, first box. Bunch of English stuff. If you like looking at graded cards, I hope this is good. If I can improve in any way, please let me know. I mean, truth be told, a lot of these returns are for myself. As in, I like... I wish I did every return I ever got on camera just so I could always go back and have a look at the stuff that I used to have or like I graded and like kind of like an achievement for me because I sell a lot of the graded cards I get and they're really, it's just a cool process. Oh, that's nice. 0.5 away from the gem mint, but you no, know, we almost got there. When it's stamped. So we got. Oh, it's 
a rough corner. These are so harsh on servers. I'm surprised some of these got this high grade. I mean, they were out of a sealed pack. Oh, look at that. That's a trophy. Unlimited Jungle Eevee. Unlimited Jungle Pikachu. What's he rares? Not everyone can even afford the hollows, you know? Some people can just get the rares. It's fine, I'm happy to help them out when I can. Yeah, Genesis, Slugpoke. There's a clean looking shuckle. 9999. I mean, that is just so aesthetically pleasing. Clean 9. Let's have a look at that. Oh, wow. Am I shooting myself in the foot by sending these to CGC? That's what I kind of think sometimes. Is it worth it to wait the 12 to 24 months PSA time? Because a lot of these are, you know, they're close. They're very close to the 10. Oh, that's a good one. Cute little, little boy. It's crazy how like a 20 year old card I can get a 9.5 and then a pack fresh modern card. I can get a 9.5. Usually the subgrades are quite high on the modern 9.5. But I'll try not to bore you with the same card a million times over. But this is what it's like. If you, if you want to get into it, you have to do the... You have to do the grind. This one? I'm going to keep this one. This one's for me. I like the full art trainers. Not too sold on hyper rares though. They do look nice. Don't get me wrong. This one's probably an exception. And we got oh 0.5 off the pristine. But that one, that's for me as well. This Charizard. This is one of my favorite ones. See, I just had a mail day yesterday, and recorded that, and I got a bunch of these in there. And I will probably grade these. Sell them, buy them, grade them, sell them, buy them, forever. I don't think there's a time where I don't. Okay. Now we're talking about underrated. Underrated, overrated. Great cards. One minute video on these alone. The Pikachu World Collection. I think I was buying sets at around $50 to $100 each before I sent these off. Barely certain they're more than that now. You can't just go and buy them. But these are all just from random sealed versions from Yahoo auctions. Like, it's not always you just buy a sealed thing and everything comes mint, right? Oh, that's nice. Holy shit. Okay. But it's not always that easy. So this is like one sealed binder's worth. I got one seven, two mints, another mint. So, what is that? Out of nine cards, we got four cards not get the mint, and five cards get mint. Or, or mint or better. So it's kind of like. Wow, oh, look at that hollow pattern. That's just amazing. It's not that easy, you know? It looks easy when they sell, and this is why the Gem Mint copies of everything has such a high premium. Because it's just really not that easy. Like, it's... <sighs> you have to go through a lot of hurdles to get these Gem Mint grades. And a lot of those cards I, just should, I shouldn't send in, but my model and my idea is a lot different to everyone else's where I'll grade a lower condition card because I can afford it and because I know there's buyers out there that will that will buy them. So I'm I'm very lucky I have that avenue is that I can get my cost back from selling the lower graded copies so I don't have to spend too much time going through them. Alright. But no, I said I all grade every Charizard. I, I grade almost every base set Blastoise as well, as you will see. 
blast doys, blasted stoys. And we'll just go through blast doys. Five, six point five. I could probably make like a one to ten set. I'll probably rank it to ten, but so we got four point five surface on this. Wow, this is actually really good grade. What's what's wrong with this? So when you see car when you see a grade like this, so it's a five point five, so you think, okay, that's pretty low. Let me look at the subs. 8.5, 4.5, 8.5, 8.5. And you're like, okay. So there's obviously something on the surface. Now, we'll find it. This looks to be a little bit a little bit of warpage. Maybe a tiny bit of warden damage. As you can see up there. It's very wrinkled. The corners have bent inwards. So surface got destroyed, but that, that's the back, like the front of the card is like very, very nice to look at. I can't even see a scratch. That is very nice. So, lower grade cards are fine. Personally, I would rather have that than display it. If you just cover up the cert, no one's ever going to know the difference. If you really like, don't like the grade. But... Yeah, a lot of like the low surface subgraded cards really just look really nice. Seven, a four, and a five. So, yeah, I think every base set, Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, should be worth grading because they're cool. Okay, I bought a complete VS set last year for almost $3,000. I've already graded all the hollows, or almost all of them. I think I sold most of them, but these are cool. Sorry, I really shouldn't skip through VS because the artwork is amazing, but you'll see every VS non-hollow in this set, except for like, except for Charizard, I think, and Web. I graded every Web card and every VS card. I think these are just the majority of the non-hollows. Look at these. I mean, these are just beautiful. Quad nine. I mean, these are nice. Like, what the hell is wrong with this? I mean, I got nine in all categories, so it has to have like at least a surface issue, a little bit of an edge issue, and corner issue but is that chipping or something huh damn these guys are they're harsh you know you get a you get a CGC 9 you can definitely get a mint card like that is 100% There's a crease there. And they don't miss things either. That's what I've noticed. Every single little crease, everything. I've I've had so many PSA 10s which is just have dents and creases in them. But CGC gets every single one. It's kind of crazy. I mean, we'll see in the future. Maybe their grading standards will drop because they, you obviously you have to cut corner somewhere degrade like a huge influx of cards but these web cards just like blow my mind oh ten on corners wow those corners are flawless this is a nice condition card so these it's like a peeled promo so you can see all along the edge and it looks like there's like a crease that goes around but it's not creasing it's like peeling because you peel these from a sheet and PSA is really wishy-washy sometimes they'll give you a five and sometimes they'll give you a nine or a ten if it's super mint but CGC understands that and they know that the lips are there on these 
glossy promos, so they'll they just grade them accordingly because they know the lips are there. So I really like that. These are both great cards to have, and they are going in my collection, so I am going to keep those. It was another Blastoise, just like before, but a five this time, with a four on surface. So as we, we can see here, this is pretty scratched up, but you can see here, there's a coin indent on the back, most likely, and there's another dent there. But you got an eight on edges and corners, and you know what? That's actually pretty good. Like those corners and edges are really nice. The surface is just damaged. I mean, if you're happy having this little thing on the bottom of your card, it's not even on the it's not even on the artwork. So this one's just ruined. I can't make excuses. Yeah, that's nice. Um, we're gonna have so many greater cards stacked up at the end. I'll do a last shot. That Whitney's Clefable. Fable. Rocket Returns, Web, Dragon Eye Web, this is nice. This might be a keeper. Oh my god, this looks so much better in Japanese than it does in the English version. So we've got a Charizard there, a whole bunch of other Pokemon all surrounding. So cool. Dark Alakazam. If you don't know, the web set was released in 2001, and it was kind of like a celebration of the internet sort of thing. So you could only order it off the internet. And they sent it in like, I think it was like a five card booster pack, a hollow in every pack. Pretty cool. It's all reprinted artworks except for this one. That is a... This is never released before. And there's another artwork in here that's never been released, but every other artwork is from another release prior to 2001. And when we get to that other one, oh, it went. Oh, yeah. And they also they grade relatively easy because they are a new back Japanese, they're not old back. So the new backs don't get scratched up. New back definitely grades easier than old back. Okay. Oh, we got some big hitters here. Okay. Stop slamming everything around. Let's go. Shibuya's Pikachu. My light ready. All right. Look, I graded a bunch of these. I love this one. I mean, he's so cool. It's like Pikachu spray painting. Spray paint Pikachu. So you see the name there at the top. Shibuya's Pikachu. And then it's like Shibuya's Pikachu there. And if you want to look up any of these cards, on all the cert numbers and all the, like, everything's there. All the certs, all the promo numbers, if you want to look them up online or try and find them for yourself to buy. You'll more than likely see these for sale within the next week or two as I get around to listing them. So... That should be his Pikachu Mewtwo as well. It's so cool. Mewtwo and Mew. Pokemon Center should be your. That's nice. And lots of nines and 9.5s. Most of the nines are like 0.5 off. So this one has an 8 on an edge. So I'm guessing there's a tiny dent somewhere on the edge. See if we can find it. I think it's there. Yep. 
Alright, sorry, I was trying to look for myself. So if you see here, oh man, there's absolutely no way I'm going to be able to show you guys this. There's so much dirt. Alright, it's kind of like right here where my finger was. Is that even showing up? Oh, I can't show you that. Oh, it's so small. It's like a hairline crease. It's like I wish I had like a pointer. It's like right there. It's like a little dot. But if you had my eyes, you'd be able to see that it's like a crease that runs up. So that really affected the edge grade. We got two of them. And we got another Shibuya. That was a lot of Shibuyas. They were roughly $20 each when I purchased them. I'm not really sure. Got a few gem mint ones, but outside of that. We got Lily's full force. The cheapest Lily card that is no longer that cheap. Championship Eevee. Another great limited promo release Eevee card that just has outstanding artwork. I think they made it a blister promo in English, which kind of sucks because English really ruins all the special Japanese releases, but I think you're safe with We're buying. Sorry, you weren't there. This must be from the Pikachu V starter deck. I have really no idea why I graded so many of those. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, I'm just like throwing money away. But please don't do exactly what I do. Like, you don't need to send in so many. I think my idea was I already used CDC a few times before I send these in. I really wanted more people to get cards in their hands, so I'm happy to grade cards and really show people. Because I, I definitely think they deserve a chance. I think having one Monopoly grading company is probably not the best, but I definitely still use both PSA and CGC. Man, 8.5 edges. Are you fucking kidding me? That's 8.5 edges. There's one dot. One dot. Oh, that's 8.5 edges to you, CGC? One dot? Damn. Like I said, if you get a... A 9 from CGC... You really... You're really getting a good card. You get a 9.5, you're getting a... You're getting a gem mint card. And as you get to the higher versions of 9.5, like, that is just... People are willing to pay a lot more for the 10 pristine label, but it's only 0.5 above that. Like, that is just... Like, if you wanted the PSA 10, you can, you can buy this and regrade it, and it'll get a 10. That is, like, basically guaranteed at that point. Oh, a few more should we use. Oh, we sprinkled a no-rarity magneton. It's very nice that all these were sent in bulk, actually. It had $100 per card service level. We didn't get any upcharges. I've never received an upcharge from CGC. Please trade. Actually, this is another very special, very cool card. Only card that has a hollow back, which is just so insane that they did that. If you don't have one of these, pick one up for yourself. Because they're just... It's just iconic, really. I think what I'm going to do is this video has definitely seen its time. And I'm probably just going to start another one and maybe upload it later on. So, oh, thanks for listening. Remember, if you have any questions, anything ever, please just... Put them down below. I'll try and respond. I'll try and help you. I like helping people. It doesn't bother me. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for number two.